Hey everybody, it's the Technical Wizard here, and today we're going to be doing another Windows installation video. Here today we are doing Windows NT 5.0, the beta of Windows 2000, and I've never done this before. I've done it on a VM, but I've never done it on actual hardware, so this is going to be interesting because the first CD that I burned for Windows NT 5.0 Beta 2 was, wasn't any good, so I had to toss it and burn another one that actually worked, so... I went ahead and pulled the original hard drive, and if you can see it, point at it, out of the computer we're going to be using. And today we're going to be using the Compact Presterio 2200. Maybe this won't end too badly, but let's go ahead and give it a go. And we're already having sound problems, isn't that amazing? But you know what? That's inevitable with this computer. Go ahead and put this in. Um... When I pulled the hard drive, this computer was running Windows NT 4.0. Clock battery's dead. Amazing. Um, this currently has a 500 megabyte hard drive. It's an IBM hard drive, like the one in the PS Value .425 SX that I had a long time ago. I'm looking for another one still, so maybe one day I'll have another one, but as of right now, no. Nah. This isn't working. Let's go ahead and restart. Let me go to the setup. Ah, there we go. Yeah, boy. All right, Windows NT setup. It's actually working. I didn't think it would work at first, but looks like we're actually getting somewhere now. So this is going to be very interesting because I've never ran NT 5.0 on actual hardware before. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera here and let it load the setup. All right. I zoomed in on the monitor so hopefully this camera won't quality won't be as bad I went to put all of my unused hard drives downstairs that, um, that I tried to put in this computer but it took three hard drives to see if I could get a working one but there's that and I also went to get some H2O stay hydrated folks um, Windows NT 5.0 it's beta operating system F8. I wonder if anybody actually reads those. Um, let's leave it intact. Also, why is the older file systems called FAT file systems? That's a legit question that I actually have. I know the NTFS is new technology file system, but I genuinely don't get why the older systems are called FAT file systems. Okay, and we're at 99 percent now. And we're done with the for first portion. Okay. Let's go ahead and eject the disk so that we can start up from the hard drive. Okay. Let's go ahead and put the CD back in. And we are now starting up from Windows NT. Oh, yeah, boy! That's amazing. Check it. My 10-year-old self would have been proud. Um, this is one of the few times that I've dealt with beta software. I've actually done a uh, public beta of Mac OS X 10.0, the first version. Speaking of which, I should really do that again. I'll, I might put that in consideration, making that a video this week. All right, we got our mouse. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. <laughs> this is taking forever. 
All right, dialog box went away. We should be getting somewhere. Oh yeah, Windows NT 5.0 workstation. Yeah. Oh me. This is a slow computer, if y'all can't tell. So, if y'all don't own a vintage computer but you want one, just know they take a lot of patience. Nope, we're not done yet. Oh, we're finally done. Alright. Let's go ahead and put in this stuff. Um, it doesn't look like we have any other option. Alright, installing networking installation. Alright, y'all. Funny thing is that I thought that I heard a tornado siren and this was about to be another Alabama tornado terror video, so that's fun. <laughs> so we're on the downhill slide because we're the last part. Ooh, lightning out the window. That's amazing. Let's hope the power doesn't go out. <laughs> Oh man, that would suck. But almost done. You can hear that thunder. The date and time indicated by your computer's clock appears to be inaccurate, which may affect proper operation of this evaluation of the version of Windows NT. Wait, okay. You know what? We're gonna still leave it at 2020 because I want to see if this goes up in flames or something. <laughs> Completing the setup wizard. Congratulations, you've installed Windows NT successfully. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and restart. All right. So we got the big old compact logo. All right, let's load up. <sighs> also, I'm probably gonna have to install this compact Rosario. Camera won't focus. Come on. Compact for Stereo 2200 display adapter driver. Funny. Okay. We got the startup screen. And this is the first operating system to have a loading bar. <laughs> I'm surprised this actually works, though. I really am. Okay, we got the login screen. Let's go ahead and sign in. What's this? Oh, it looks like Windows XP. <laughs> That's the first thing I thought of when I saw the personalized settings thing come up. I was just like, that reminds me of Windows XP. Yeah, this is, it feels like this is the slowest this computer has ever been. I don't even know how much RAM it has, but I think the max it can take is 64 megabytes maybe. Hey, finally got the taskbar on the start menu. Yeah, it looks a lot like Windows 95, honestly. About time it loaded up. And 10.52, so it took 40 minutes to install this thing. Maybe 50, I can't even remember. And it's still loading. <laughs> I clicked the start menu. It's, we're not even getting anywhere. 
Oh, we got hourglass. <laughs> Any day now, the start menu should come up. There we go. Yes, this looks a lot like Windows 95. panel. Zero objects. Yeah, it's taking a minute. <laughs> oh, me. This is so slow. Yeah, this is, this is taking a fat minute. A fat with three T's. Any day now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it freezes. No, oh, I didn't mean to do that. No, go back. Come on. There we go. Now, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Sounds. How much space I got left? I only got that much left. <laughs> Extra. Audio. You don't have an audio device. Yeah, and that's for next time. But let's go ahead and check how how slow this thing is. Um, 30 megabytes of RAM. That's mint. <laughs> um, I don't even remember the processor speed, actually. Uh, AT is compatible. Hardware. Price manager. Goodness gracious, my battery's about dead, too. Yeah, this is going to take forever. Oh, there we go. System devices. Yeah, I don't even see the CPU anyways, but... Yeah, guys, this was... It only took forever. And I cut, I'm going to cut out a bunch of parts by the time I edit this, but... Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video of me installing Windows NT 5.0 on actual hardware. If you all want more like this, leave it in the comments. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. This is the Technical Wizard, signing off.